Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy SL Official. I'm back with another video and today we're looking at five quick tips on how you can spot fake Instagram pages. Before I get into any details, make sure you're following me on Instagram at CloserLookOfficial. Here, as you can see, I've just got a list of loads of guides, general fashion insights, comparisons, a load of different stuff. So make sure you're following me on there, get involved. But yeah, back to this video, five quick tips. The first of which is to just check whether the account's actually open or not. So um, if I go to this page here, designer plug, the few people I know or not know, but follow me on IG and have messaged me have been scammed by this page. So do be careful. But the point I'm making here is, as you can see, the account's private. With a shop or personal sellers in general, the whole point of it is you're making sales, increasing revenue. If you're making your page private, you're effectively limiting your like outreach to potential customers. So if a page is doing that, you should have alarm bells ringing straight away. There are, of course, a number of real personal sellers that may have their accounts private for whatever reason. So maybe they're about to launch a website. Maybe that's just how they operate. But um, in the grand scheme of things, most pages I know of that are genuine, their page is just open. So if it is private, just be very wary of that. But anyway, moving on to point two, we're going to look at pictures. If we move on to some real pages quickly, here's one, um, SM Crep, shout out to him, he's doing his thing. But basically what you'll see is like, he's got his business card in all these photos. And if you do know the products as well and you've done your research, you can tell they're genuine. And because he's got the two together, you know he owns them or you know he's got them in stock. So it's not a case um, where the account holder is just listing up random pictures and you don't know whether they have them or not. So look out for business cards. That's usually a very good thing. And then the last thing I'd mention to you about pictures is just to make sure the theme of them is the same. So here we've got a well-known personal shopper in the UK called Undivided. If you scroll through his feed, you can see like the background in loads of these pictures is the same. So even though he doesn't have his business card in them, if you're just looking at the style of the pictures, the background, the floor, like you can see it's generally the same through a lot of them. And if we go all the way down here, we can see it's still the same. A problem that arises a lot is pages still pictures. I'm going to show you some fake accounts now or scam accounts just to just so you can get an idea of what you are looking out for but for example this one here can catch out a lot of people um, if you look down the feed everything looks fine the backgrounds look consistent and these are ones which you need to be really really careful about because what happens is if you use my first two tips so you check the pages open and then you look to the pictures and everything looks fine you may be thinking okay cool maybe i can buy from here but this takes me on to the third point, which is to look at the pricing. So if we scroll all the way up to the top, um, Montclair jacket, they're saying retail 550, R price 475. Um, Lambin sneakers, they're saying retail 295, R price 200. Scroll down a bit more to something a bit more popular. Well, we've got Balenciagas. They're saying retail price 495, R price 350. That should be alarm bells ringing straight away. You can't really consistently offer so many designer products, especially the ones that are hot at such a discounted rate. There are sellers who do have really good discounts, but if you notice, they only have certain sizes and they only have they only have it um, once in a while. And the products aren't really the most popular ones. With products like the Balenciaga um, Speed Trainers, they've been sold out for ages. When they come in stock, they go out straight away. Personal sellers resell them for up to 600, 700. So stuff like that, like even if we look a bit further, um, what else have they got here? I mean, Balenciaga's, they're saying retail 300, R price 180. It's just a bit of a stretch and like, it's just never really gonna be the case. So do be aware of that. I'm gonna show you another page as well. So this one's called Into Designer. If you know your lubes here, you'll be able to tell this one's just fake straight away. But like, if you look at the pricing, this is saying $400. That's the equivalent of like 270 pounds, uh, maybe like 300 euros. So again, for lubes, that, that's just never the case. So you know straight away, without, even if you don't know the product, you should just stay away from stuff like that. It's a massive indicator. Um, I'll show you yet another page. So this one, what they do is actually show genuine products. They've taken these from a whole host of different pages. But if you go into their website, when you click it, you can just see, like, look at these prices here. They're saying a barman jacket for 400 euros, Montclair vest 200 euros. Like, it's just not right. And to have so many products for sale at that price is just a big, big reach. Like, it's never going to happen. And that carries me on to my next point, which is availability. And we're going to go back to the True Souls account for that. So again, 
you may have looked at the first few points um, and been like, okay, this account looks legit. Maybe I'll buy from here. But always, always check the availability. So like if we go here, I saw, where are they? Nike off white. Oh no, even these. So if we just look here, there's Balenciagas. Now they're saying these, these have been so in demand. Like, so this post is from March the 13th. But if you just look at it now, they're saying that's a £145 discount because they're offering it at 350 from a retail price of 495 And at the same time, they're saying they've got every size from 4 to 12. That's just so unrealistic. Like if they are selling it at that price, it's going to be one or two pairs. If we go to this LV bag here as well, I mean, the retail price and this is a 1500 I don't even think that's the actual retail price. That's what they're saying it is. The price they're offering is less than that. LV don't even do discounts. So for them to be offering it at that price is ridiculous. You can tell straight away that's just messed up. Also got more runners, sizes five to 12. They've got lubes again, five to 12. These were super, super hard to get. The Chanel Triple Blacks. They're at a discount of £95 and they're saying they've got all sizes from 4 to 12. Once again, it's just totally unrealistic. Do you bear in mind, if they've got all sizes, it doesn't always mean they're a scam. So if you look at Undivided again, a uh, big personal shopper, looking through the thing here. So this picture here it says all sizes available, but the prices are much more realistic. You can tell he's taken the pictures, as I was saying before. He's got his own website. You've got to just use your judgment. Look at all these things I've mentioned. Use your judgment and then kind of combine them all together. Now, moving on to payment, this one's quite tricky because there are two main um, payment methods which a lot of pages use, and these are paper and or bank transfer. Now, some legit personal shoppers only use bank transfer. Some only use PayPal. The same goes with some of the fake pages and scam pages. A lot of them only take bank transfer, but many of them take PayPal, so it can be a bit confusing. What I'd say here is go through the checklist I've given you, the tips I've given you in this video. If you're happy and you feel confident in the page, then feel free to go and do a bank transfer. If the page has, for example, sufficient feedback, the pictures all add up, the pricing is correct, the availability looks good, the page is open, then yeah, feel free to go ahead and pay with bank transfer. Just be aware though, like if you can in any situation pay with PayPal goods and services, I'd always, always recommend that. The problem with bank transfer is it's the same as just giving away cash to someone. Like when you make a debit card transaction or online bank and transfer the money to someone else's account, you're literally giving that money away and there's no protection. Your bank are never gonna be able to get it back. Um, you can launch a complaint obviously, but people do that all the time and never ever get the money back. So what I'm saying here is that if you're confident enough in the page and feel free to use bank transfer, but where possible, always, always use PayPal. What you'll find with a lot of the scam pages is they will try and make you use bank transfer. I have a story from like a couple of days ago actually where some girl messaged me. Um, essentially what they made her do was pay the money into two separate bank accounts. And then after paying, the guy who was selling the stuff was like, I'm going away for a week, but I'll post it to you when I get back. Obviously, I haven't heard back, so I don't know what happened. But just from the sounds of that, you can probably tell it's very sketchy. So use your intuition. Go with what feels right. That does cover all my five tips for avoiding Instagram scams. As I was saying, do make sure you're following me on IG. I do post on my story when people get scammed and I list it up just so you can know which pages to avoid. If you do have any questions, leave those down below in the comments. If you believe I missed anything out, leave those in the comments. If you have stories from pages which have scammed you in the past, leave those down in the comments. Let's make this particular video in the comment section a page where people can come, just check out um, personal shoppers, see feedback, who's legit and who's not. So yeah, if you do have experience from good or bad, leave those in the comments. But yeah, that's everything I've got covered for this video. So. I hope it's helped you. Obviously, I don't want to see any of you lot getting scammed. I know you follow me to find out about the difference between real and fake. And these guys who are scamming and whatnot are just messing up the market. We want to get rid of them. So yeah, do help us. Leave stuff in the comments. If you found this video useful, make sure you do leave a like. If I have forgotten anything, I will upload a part two. And yeah, as always, hope this was helpful. And I'll see you guys again on the next video.